The TX440 is another new crossbow in 10 points lineup, earning the title of the most technologically advanced compact crossbow the world has ever seen. This is the new TX440 from 10 Point Crossbows. This bow shoots 440 feet a second. When it's cocked, it's only six and a half inches wide. It's also only 28 inches long. So it's very, very compact, very easy to handle in a ground blind or a tree stand. The TX440 is one of two bows with the twin riser technology. And basically what we've done is we've taken the middle out of the riser, which significantly reduces weight. And we've spread those out so that it adds a lot of stability to your limb anchors and your pivots, makes the bow very, very stable, and very quiet, very easy to use, and nice to shoot. Included in this bow is the TriggerTech Precision Trigger Box. That's mounted in the zero track barrel. And the arrow doesn't sit in the barrel itself. It just rides on two roller bearings up front on the rest. And then the knock locks into place back here on the bowstring. This bow includes the Evo X scope, which has the locking speed adjustment, sniper type turrets. The scope will light up red or green. The scope sits on the AccuLock scope rail system, a supported scope rail that's locked in in the back and also sits on the riser up front. On this particular bow, the AccuSlide Max crank handle storage fits right on this Picatinny rail. Very simple and easy to use. You just pull it back, locks in place. This bow has the AccuSlide Max built into the stock. This gives you silent cocking and safe decocking built right in. So to start with, your trigger box is gonna be in the rearward position, uh, like you've just shot the bow. And what we're going to do with our right hand, we're gonna grab this forward assist lever. And with the left finger, and I typically hold the stock just like this because it's very, very comfortable and easy to do. Just push down with your first finger on that latch and slide that trigger box forward until I make contact with the string. And I wanna give good forward pressure and you'll hear that string, uh, you'll hear the trigger box click and latch to the bowstring. Now the trigger box is attached. We're gonna go ahead and start the cocking cycle. And we're just gonna turn the crank handle. And again, this is under constant brakes. So if you happen to lose that crank handle during the cocking process, it's not a big deal. As the trigger box gets back to the end of the barrel, you're gonna to want to listen for a click and you're going to want to watch this latch and you'll see it move. So I'm watching that latch. I heard the click, the lever went down, kicked back up. Now I'm gonna do one backwards rotation and then I'm gonna push the gear stop button with my left thumb and hold that in. And I'm just gonna spin the collar backwards until it stops. Now the bow is cocked and ready to shoot. I wanna to talk to you about the importance of the back winding process at the end of the cocking cycle. So basically what we did is once the latch clicked, we did one backwards rotation with the crank handle. That's taking the pressure off of the strap and putting it onto the latch. That assures that you've got a consistent anchor point every time you shoot the crossbow. That's gonna help with your accuracy. Then we talked about holding the gear stop button with your left thumb and spinning the collar backwards. Typically that back spin is only gonna be a quarter to a half a turn. What we're doing there is as you do that back wind with your fingers, you're gonna see that collar actually open up. That's the brake system opening up. That way, after we've shot the crossbow, we're ready to take the trigger box down and attach it to the bowstring again. So these two steps are very important in the cocking process. You wanna make sure you do them every time. So now the crossbow's cocked. We've been hunting all day, didn't get to shoot the bow. Now we're going to decock it. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put the crank handle in. With your left finger, and I typically, works really well, just hold the stock like this and apply a little bit of downward pressure with my finger on that latch. Latch isn't gonna move at first. Then you're gonna go forward like you're cocking the bow with the crank handle and it'll get a little bit tight. And then you'll feel that latch lever give way. Once you do that, hold it in the, in the back position 
and start to backwind. Once you get about one rotation, you can let go of that latch and just let the trigger box go down the barrel. Again, if you happen to, to lose the handle in this process, nothing's gonna happen. You wanna just take this down until the string is straight across and you see a little bit of slack in the strap. That way there's no tension on that strap. Now you decock the crossbow. That trigger box can stay down and attached until the next time you're ready to shoot the bow. If you have any other questions on the TX440, go to 10pointcrossbows.com.